Today we are adding a ton more fish to the Epic Tank as well as upgrading this thing so it looks even better. Let's jump right into it and unbox some fish. Guys, I finally, I finally did what I was supposed to do. I got the tank background right here. This tank's gonna look way better. As you can see, you can see through the shadows and everything. I, I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. We're throwing the background on officially. It's gonna look way better than it is right now. And then we can actually enjoy the fish that are swimming around in here. Now this thing I got, I had to get two of them because they weren't long enough to actually go across the whole tank. So we're gonna have to, you know, make it work. But then I was reading this thing about the sea view gel and it was, it was pretty much speaking a whole different language. But you said you knew. Spanish. And speaking of a different language, shout out to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Last night, I went to the Cuban Cafe, one of my favorite spots, the Cuban Cafe. If you guys do not know, I am a Cuban. The waiter comes over, he starts speaking Spanish, and I'm just sitting there like this, like a scared man. I couldn't answer a damn question. All I could say was, can I get a patelito de huevo? That's the only thing I know how to say in Spanish. I'm Cuban, I don't even know how to speak it. If so if you guys want to learn a new language, the best way to do it is through Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the entire world. And its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversations. That's what I needed last night. I was, I was trying to order a nice breaded chicken and I couldn't do it. So me personally, you gotta find out why you want to learn a new language. And for me, my entire family lives in Miami. They're all Cuban. Everyone speaks Spanish and I don't. So definitely for me, that is the number one reason why I would want to learn a new language. Plus I'm going to Spain next year for my cousin's uh, wedding. Shout out to Sofia. We are gonna be in Spain for about a week and I need to learn the lingo. I need to be in there, okay? I need to know what everyone's saying. So that is reason number two why I would want to learn a second language. Now I'm choosing Babbel to learn the new language language because it is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Lessons are designed by real teachers and there's a 20 day money back guarantee. Plus they make it super easy. All you need is the Babbel app. Open that thing up. You got your lessons. You can set your weekly goal. Lesson one, for example. Mucho gusto. You open up a lesson. Let's do this one. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. It means good morning. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Very good, it's a pleasure. That right there, boom, I just learned how to say a couple things in Spanish that I can take on my trip to Spain and uh, conversate with my fellow peers over there. So if you guys wanna learn a new language just like me, you can click the link in the description and save 60% off of your subscription. And out of curiosity, let me know which language you want to learn in the comments and let me know why. So remember, click that link in the description, get 60% off your subscription off of Babbel. Great app, learn a new language. Now let's get back into building the ultimate tank with these right here. So now we are going to be setting up our tank. Wow, dude. Brooke, we have decisions to make. Brooke's on the couch, by the way. <laughs> you know what she said? You guys can hear she said, oh my God, worry. She hates me on camera, but guess what? You guys crushed the like goal when we asked if you guys want to see more Brooke. So get ready for 2024. It's going to be the year of manager Brooke, not me. It's going to be 2024 Brooke's year. So we have two options though. We have black to go along with the sand or we have blue. Brooke, which one do you like better? Blue? Or black. Real? Brooke says blue. This is gonna be a nightmare to do though, because I only got hair on it. Came with hair. <laughs> oh no, that's dog hair. That's our dog hair. It is? That's annoying. Can we look at it from back? Mine here. Which what do you think looks better, Jack? Blue? Blue sick. I wish I could see. Okay, so we just looked at blue. Now let's look at black. I'm only I'm only thinking black because we have black sand. Okay. The people have spoken. Brooke and Fish Guy Hack behind the camera have said blue. So we're gonna go with blue. This seems fun now. Just wants to just go back. It's gonna be fun to tape, can't wait to do it. So, thing is, we're gonna have to combine these two together, which could take some time, so you're gonna have to give me a second here. And nobody knows where I believe. Bang, baby, look at that. We went with the blue. I think it was a good decision. We could definitely could have gone with the black, but then it would have been really dark. I like the little like kind of moonlight blue vibes where it still looks kind of dark in the tank with that black sand. All the fish are gonna pop that we put in here now. It looks great, 10 out of 10, way better than it did before. I'm super happy with it. Let's go. We are upgrading this tank every single week. Chef's kiss. It's looking good right now. Now we gotta get into the fish that we're actually putting into this tank today. Let's go. I'm fired up. Everything's doing great in the tank. The tang, the angel, all the shrimps. 
all killing it. So you guys really enjoyed and crushed the like button on our last stocking video. You absolutely smashed it. And that's when I mentioned the blue tanks and the clownfish for the tank. You guys absolutely crushed that like button. So, and you guys really enjoyed when I put the fish in like this. So you guys can see them from the, from the side and then we let them go like that. You guys really like that. So we're gonna do the same setup today with the new fish we're adding. And because you guys crushed the like goal, boy, do we have some awesome clownfish for today's video. And not only clownfish, I have one special fish at the end that we're gonna be adding that is not a clownfish, but you're gonna have to wait for the grand finale for that one. So we're gonna jump right into it with the first clownfish of the day, which I actually just got. When I got the nice background, I had to pick up uh, the background and I was like, that's a dope clown. So what we got is the all orange with like kind of black tips clownfish. He's got no white whatsoever on him at all. Now, obviously I went to Petco to buy this. So the prices were, you know, inflation. This guy was like $59 or something. Crazy, crazy for one clownfish. Absolutely insane. Probably got ripped off, but hey, it's Petco. You're going to pay a premium at all those stores. So look at that clownfish. Absolutely sick. Let's get him in the viewing container and we can see him in the tank. I'm just loving the way this tank is going to go. We got to get that nice big color pattern all through the tank. That's what we want. That's the goal at the end when this is completely said and done. Now we are getting the Nemo's today. We're getting the clownfish. So just like last time, you guys want to see some blue tanks, some dories in here, drop a like on the video to let me know and I'll get maybe a couple uh, blue tanks put in the tank with the clownfish. So let me know by dropping a like on this video. Let's get this guy in his little container here. Let's get him in his container here. That is one sick clownfish. I'm sorry guys, that is one Bad to the bone clownfish. All orange. He's a freaking jack-o'-lantern. He's Halloween to the T. No white on this guy whatsoever. That is one dang cool fish. He might be, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with the all orange. The all orange might be my favorite kind of clownfish, to be honest with you. The white striped ones, the OGs, those are cool too, but all orange, it's just something different. This guy may, might be the king of the castle in this tank. So hopefully when we get him in, he's gonna be all chilling. And once we add all the other clownfish, there's gonna be no beef in this tank. Let's get him in. Let's get this guy in the tank. Now, I know there is glare in the background, guys. So you're gonna let me know in the comments, is it worth having the blue background even though there's glare? You let me know what you think in the comments. You don't like the glare in the back? We're gonna have to switch it off and uh, just get no background again. But I like the blue, I just don't like the glare. So there's pros and cons to both, but that fish is really dang cool. Let's release him into the tank. Look at the, look at the tang ready to go. Tang's ready to be friends with him. There he goes in the tank. What a beast, chilling with the boys. That's sick. It's our first clown of the day. I'm pumped. We needed some orange in here. We needed some orange for sure. Let's get on to the next. Look at the clear Raz. Raz is eating. He's, he's eating everything off of him. He's like, yo, you got some stuff on you, bro. Let me get that. Let me get that, dude. All the fish are checking them out. So let's get some more fish in there so they're not all jumping the, uh, you know, getting all over the, the orange jack-o'-lantern clownfish, okay? We gotta get some more fish in here. The next set of clownfish that we're gonna be adding, yes, set, we got two of these guys in here, are these white, black, and orange ones. This one actually has no orange on them, but the other one has a white or an orange face. But super cool, everyone loves these kinds of clownfish. Straight white, little black, little orange, absolutely sick. These guys are really, really cool. I forget the exact name of these guys. Guys. But if you do know it, let me know down in the comments the exact name of these two clownfish here. And actually, drop the orange one as well, because I, I always forget the names. There's so many names of these clownfish. But these are really cool pair of little clownfish here that we're going to be adding. The two all-white clownfish are going in the tank. Let's see how they look against the blue background. I think they're going to look awesome. They should swim down with the other clownfish. And strength in numbers, guys. Strength in numbers. So there they are. They look great in here against that blue background. They look really good. They're popping. Maybe that's what we need in this tank, some white fish. If we're going to have this blue background on, we need some white fish. And these are perfect for this tank because these actually stand out the most than all the other ones. I'd, I'd say that all the clownfish are standing out the most. The two white ones and now the orange one. Look at the orange one. He's like, yo, boys, get in here. Let's get them in. Release the beast. There we go. Let's go. They're in. Everyone's saying, what is good, dude? Everyone's like, what's going on? And what's the angelfish doing? The angelfish is being annoying. I might have to take, kick him out of the tank. I may have to kick him out of the tank. I've never seen an angelfish have a problem with clownfish, but we're going to have to follow along the progress of that. I think he's just trying to claim his territory there, but that is, it's no bueno. I might have to kick him out of the tank. We got our orange clownfish. We got our two white clownfish. Now let's add the next pair, which is going to be a pair of OG Nemo clownfish. These guys are just straight OG. Yeah, you have 
have to have some of these guys. You can't have all specialties. You have to have some OGs, and that's what we got with these two guys. One of them is microscopic tiny, super tiny. One of them is big. So we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here in terms of size. Give them a couple weeks, and they may uh, grow up to be quite large. But we shall see with these guys. These are just OG clowns. Actually, I don't even know if this guy's an OG clown, and the small one might not be an OG clown. He might be a different clown. But who knows? These guys going in the tank. All right, next in the tank is the OGs. Hopefully they go down with the other clowns as well. The angelfish needs to cool his jets. He's out of his mind. He's a crazy person. So let's see how these guys look in the tank, right up against the glass. They look great. They look absolutely great. If you zoom in really close on them, they got really cool stripes there. Very defined, and look at the cleaner wrasse. He's dying to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> that's what cleaner wrasse do. They go up to the fish, they eat whatever's on the fish. He's dying to get a taste of that. He's like, he's jonesing right now. He's like, I need that. It's hilarious. So <laughs> let's let them out into the tank here. See what the cleaner wrasse is gonna do. Look, he's beelining it. Let's go, we got new fish in here. The cleaner wrasse is height, height. The angel. Our next fish is not a clown fish. This is the one you guys been waiting for. I've been waiting to show you guys. Another more kind of large fish that we're putting in the tank. This is like our second big fish, the tang. And and then this guy right here, this is a butterfly raccoon. Absolutely gorgeous fish, very peaceful, very calm. And any, any tank should have one of these guys in it. They're so cool and they brighten up the tank, yellow. Now we're adding a yellow fish in the tank, which is great. So let's get this guy in and hopefully the angel can cool his jets because I might have to evict him from this tank. He's trying to assert his dominance a little too much there. All right, let's get Mr. Uh, butterfly in the tank here. Not a clown, that's okay. That's okay, still a nice fish. Look at that, look at that. So we got another big style of fish in here. Not like the tang, the tang, or the tang's probably a little bit bigger, but this guy is still on the bigger side. So very cool, very chill. And we needed the color. We needed the color against that blue background. So it's all, all in all, it's a plus. And then once again, the cleaner ass is jonesing to get a taste of that angel. Very interesting, so. Look at that, there we go. We're getting a collection here now, guys. We are getting a nice collection here now in this tank. It looks absolutely fantastic. Looks killer. I'm so pumped the way it's it's you know coming together here. Look at all that color in that tank now. We got the tang, we got the butterfly, we got the angel, we got the two OG clowns swimming around doing their thing. We got the two white clowns swimming around and the jack-o'-lantern clown all in there. Plus, we still have all those shrimp, hermit crabs, everything thriving. The two starfish are in here. I think that's what we're missing. We're missing some colorful starfish in this tank. So hopefully very soon we can get a couple of those guys and maybe some red ones. And maybe if they go back against the wall there, it'll look great with that blue and red. So the dining room tank is coming along very nicely and I am pumped to see what we're gonna get next. Comment down below what fish you wanna see in here next. And of course, drop a like if you wanna see the blue tanks, but comment down below a variety of either, you know, we can do in, uh, more invertebrates. So if there's a really cool like shrimp you wanna see in this tank, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned with your notification bell on so you can continue and follow along with this tank. It's going amazing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.